So how do you tell apart grasses, sedges and rushes is a good place to start. Uh, now some of you might have heard the rhyme, sedges of edges, rushes are round and grasses are hollow right down to the ground. And that's a very useful rhyme and it works uh, a lot of the time. And what it means is this, sedges of edges uh, means that they, the stem is triangular. Uh, if you kind of twirl the stem of a sedge around between your thumb and finger, it doesn't roll around very easily. It kind of jerks around because there are three sides to it and there are three angles on the stem. Uh, so those are the edges. Uh, on the other hand, rushes are round. And grasses are hollow right down to the ground. So the second way of telling apart grasses, sedges and rushes is how many directions are the leaves coming off the stem? And in grasses it's in two directions, in sedges it's in three, and in rushes it's in many directions. And some rushes don't have leaves at all, but mostly it's in many directions. So in a grass, here's the grass I'm holding up, you can see there's a leaf coming off there, and then another one on the other side, and the third one comes off the same side as the first one, fourth one that comes off the same side as the second one and so on. Uh, now as a grass grows up sometimes the stem will spiral around a little bit so it won't look completely neat in two directions but basically they, they come off in two directions. Um, a sedge on the other hand the leaves come off in three directions so you can probably see they're coming off in three directions there. If I look at another sedge with a longer stem here I can see they're coming off in three directions. There's the first one, there's the second one, and the third one is on the third side. The fourth one comes off the same side as the first one. So they come off in three directions because a sedge has three sides and it has edges. And in a rush, uh, the leaves, if they're there, come off in many directions. They kind of spiraled around the stem. The third way of telling these three groups of plants apart are looking at the features on the flowering parts of the plant. Now the first two ways that I covered already are pretty good, but they don't work all the time. They only work maybe 70 or 80% of the time. So if you really want to know, you need to check the flowering parts of the plant. And the key difference between the three groups is how many scales are there beneath each flower. So when I say a scale, I mean a petal-like structure. But in grasses, sedges and rushes, these are usually kind of green or brown and inconspicuous and small. And the key thing is how many are there? And in a grass, there are two uh, per flower. In a sedge, there's one. And in a rush, there are six. So they're quite different and they're, and they're pretty consistent with this. So if I look at this grass um, inflorescence, I see that uh, if I focus in on one of these individual kind of blobs in the inflorescence, this is actually a grass spikelet, and it's got two glooms, one on either side. Now within the spikelet there will be individual florets, and each of those florets will also have two scales. So in the grass it's always two scales beneath each of those structures. In a sedge, uh, let me get my sedge. Um, you've always got one scale beneath an individual flower. So in this particular sedge I've got female uh, flowers in this spike and male flowers on the top. And in both cases there is one little brownish um, scale underneath, underneath each, each individual flower. So unlike grasses it's only got one scale. And then rushes look more different uh, than the other two, although all three look kind of superficially similar. But if you look at an individual flower in a rush, uh, you'll see that it's got six scales around the flower or the fruit. Now it might be difficult to count them, you know, because there are so many and they're small and they're packed together. But all you need to know is that there's more than two. There are several and that will tell you that it's a rush. One for sedges, two for grasses, and six for rushes. And I've got some, a diagram to kind of recap all of that here. So the green one here is grasses, 
and be below each spikelet there are two glooms. Inside the spikelet there are a number of florets and each of those florets has two scales uh, underneath it as well. In a sedge we've got one scale, uh, confusingly this scale and a sedge is also called a gloom but it's different to the, to the grass gloom. Um, and whether you've got a male flower or a female flower or there's both male and female in the same flower you've always just got one gloom in a sedge. And then in a rush it's more like a kind of a conventional flower. It's got six uh, scales radiating out from, from the centre.